All right, hello, I'm Brian Reed. I've been in mobility for more than 15 years, dating back to BlackBerry and mobile security. How many people in this room test web apps <coughs> or build them? How many people in this room test or build mobile apps? That's why I'm here. I'm out here evangelizing mobile security. We spend so much time at conferences like this talking about AppSec generally from the web perspective, and most people miss the mobile. Here are some great examples I'm going to talk about today. Right? Uber has one single code base that's built and deployed in 180 and 50 different countries. The reality today is that mobile now outpaces web, web traffic for most businesses. And in fact, in the Christmas shopping season, it outpaces the web. But is your investment in mobile security and your understanding of mobile security matching that? Most organizations aspire to deliver a great mobile experience to their customers. But the reality is when you test 4 million apps in the App Store like, well, like I have, you'll actually discover it's pretty scary. So odds are pretty good you used a mobile app this morning that actually has active vulnerabilities in it. So five quick tips we've learned from working from these organizations. The first one is to fundamentally understand the difference between web and mobile. Web is actually protected by layers of security. Your mobile app runs in the wild and is easily reversible. And in fact, the bad guys know exactly how to attack it because traditionally we're looking at the back end. We're not recognizing the differences in mobile around data at rest and data in motion. And that's actually where most of the vulnerabilities exist and actually where most of the attacks come from. So bad guys surveil the app. They download, reverse the code. They interactive interactively interact with it, they suck the PII out of it, they discover vulnerabilities such as hostname validation, redirect, fish it, steal your data, then attack the back end. This has happened hundreds of times, we've seen them. And so OWASP even decided a number of years ago, hey wait, web and mobile are different, maybe we should have a different mobile top 10. So we at Now Secure have been proud to work on that over a number of years. We really encourage every organization to dig into this. There's plenty of resources. If you're a mobile application developer, take a look at the MAS. It's actually how to build a secure mobile application. And then for the testers, there are the, there's the um, MASTG that goes with it that teaches you how to do the test practices. And one of the keys to this is really looking at this from a threat model perspective and really tiering the applications. An organization with 200 apps can't test everything every day, so tier your strategy just like you would for web when you look at mobile. And there are approaches to do this, and we have resources for you. Now, how do we know organizations aren't properly testing their apps? Well, when we studied 100,000 of these apps in detail, we actually discovered that 50% of the applications failed at date and rest and date in motion. That's 50% of the apps in the App Store. That's pretty scary. Now, you might do mobile pen testing once a year. That's great. But if you release once a week, that's 51 weeks of insecure. And so what's actually happened in the last three years is a number of vendors have now created automated dynamic testing for the pipeline. And so this is a new way to look at mobile app security. You may be using SCA and SaaS today, right? High false positives and a lot of noise. These new API power technologies actually plug in and test the binary. And they actually test the binary in parallel with functional and interactive testing. And by taking this approach now, you can plug it into your JIRA, automatically build the app, shove the app off, the app gets tested. 15 minutes later, you're firing JIRA tickets. Instead of 400 pages of noise, you get the five actual verified vulnerabilities that were actually found in this test automation. Now, a number of organizations have scaled up an app testing pipeline. Uh, a number of our customers have hundreds of applications running in an automated application factory where by default, just like SCA and SAS runs every day, the dynamic runs every day as well. So we'd love to talk to you about this. You can find me afterwards to learn more about how to set up your own AppSec factory. And it's all about systematizing security. Instead of perfect security for your applications, you can take advantage of these new technologies that plug into the connector and the API lever, layer. Best practice you'll find from these organizations, embed security staff in the dev teams, deploy SCA, use standard libraries. These were all talked about earlier. And really make sure you bake security requirements in fundamentally into your process. And then tooling perspective, also deploy the automated binary testing. It's a new kind of testing you can add to your tool chain. If it's a tier one app, make sure you still do those manual pen tests. Make sure you monitor your supply chain in production. And please leverage bug bounty programs. That's a great way to find the unfound. Don't let this bad stuff happen to you. This is for real. The good news is they bought us a few days later. Um, it really can impact your organization if you're not paying attention to it. And so this is an argument you can use for your organization to help understand why one should invest in security security, let alone mobile application security. So I appreciate your time and attention today. Happy to share more information with you afterwards. And you can find me on Twitter as well at Read on the Run. Thank you.